Good evening. So I'm coming to you here this evening, pretty late here at night. This is 11.15 here in the evening in Poland. Um, we're driving back to Warsaw and on the way back we decided to stop in the city of Łódź uh, Lodge, a city that many of us know about, heard about, read about and, and know from the historical perspective. And with my friend on the way here we were talking and one of the monuments that really is so meaningful in this town that I personally never visited and a lot of people wouldn't have either is a monument just behind me here. This monument is a monument that remembers and a monument that looks at the tremendously difficult story that happened just here. This is the exact area where the children's concentration camp was. It's something that a lot of us don't know about, but in this very site was a concentration camp for 5,000 children. Polish, Christian children, and Jewish children too. Uh, something that we don't really think about. Children were brought here as the children of forced laborers, the Polish kids, Jewish kids from the Littmannstadt ghetto, which was just a little bit behind us. And the children here had it just as hard as anybody else. You can go online, you can go to Google, you can see the images and the tremendously difficult things from this very site. And this memory for these children, ensuring that they're never forgotten, is something that's so remarkably powerful. And the continuation of what happened here afterwards with the school just meters away from us, the heroes, the, the, the children heroes of Wuj, which is what the school's called today, leads as a reminder from the most difficult past that this city faced under the remarkably horrendous German Nazi occupation. And, you know, I'm, I'm literally almost running back to Warsaw to pack my bags, to fly to Israel, to be tomorrow on the Jewish festival of Sukkot of Tabernacles with my children, with my two beautiful little girls. And it's sites like this that really bring everything I do back to me. It really gives me this understanding and this depth of the importance of remembering and the importance of making sure that sites like this aren't forgotten as well. When you're dealing with a number as tremendous and as horrendous as six million Jews, three million ethnic Poles and millions and millions of others murdered by the German Nazis, it's the small groups of people, it's the 5,000 here, it's the 100 there, it's the one or two, wherever they may be, that are often pushed to the side and not remembered. But it's this site where 5,000 children were enslaved. 33% of these children, 33% died of typhus, died of illness, here. The thought that this could even happen is something that is so tremendously hard for me. I'll, I, I can't really express the, the tremendous feeling that you have here. And if you look closer at this memorial, you'll see this empty space, an empty space where the children went through. And you'll see on the floor a small teddy bear, a teddy bear that all of us are used to, whether we're parents and have children, we have brothers and sisters, whatever it may be. And it's this reminder of how small these children were and how tremendously hard it must have been to be in a place like this. And, you know, the truth is, again, it's easy to go to these sites and to look and to say how terrible, how bad, and to take these parts on ourselves and say, never again, it shouldn't happen, it shouldn't happen. But the truth is, is that we really do have a responsibility to make sure that this isn't forgotten. And we have a responsibility to tell these stories and to share these stories. Because if it wasn't, honestly, it wasn't for my friend who I've come here with this evening telling me about this site, I wouldn't have known about it. Now, I may have, I probably have read about it in a book. I've definitely been here to Lodge before. I've been to the main railway station from where the Jews were taken. I've seen those memorials, but I've not been here. For me, these 5,000 children were unknown. And I think... And I'm so grateful that I have got the opportunity to share this with you, that all of us will have the opportunity for even one second to stop, to look at this and to think and to try and get a little bit of an understanding of what happened just 75 years ago. This camp was created in December 1942. It's really not so long ago. In the most brutal and evil way, enslaving children. And... Really, we're going to continue our work at From the Depths and I'm going to continue my personal mission of making sure that I share with as many people and as broadly as possible these stories to ensure that we don't just not forget, but to really work that it doesn't happen again. Whether it's 
children, wherever they are around the world. We really have a responsibility as Jews and as Poles, as people who suffered so much. The responsibility is ours more than any others to make sure that this message is never forgotten. So from a cold wood, very late on a Saturday night, I bid you all farewell and look forward to sharing more and hopefully positive messages with you soon. From Woods, good night.